everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's episode is going to be another makeup haul, predominantly drugstore, a few things from Nordstrom, Sephora, Macy's, Glossier, uh, but predominantly the drugstore. Uh, so if you're interested in finding out what I got, then just keep on watching. So I just want to mention, I, so I've already taped this video once already which is sort of a bummer, but um, it's actually getting really, really hot here in Vegas. And I just, I have all my lights on, I have all my blinds open to get as much light in here as possible. And my camera just kept overheating and overheating and overheating and stopping and not recording and recording here. So I just thought, let me just stop. I turned on the air conditioning, which coming from the Northeast to turn on your air conditioning in March is so bizarre, but I turned on my AC cool down my room and now hopefully my camera will just continuously record and I won't have like a crazy video but we'll see. Um, I went to the local Walgreens here and I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised to find a bunch of wet and wild stuff that I had been looking for. So if any of you out there are from New York City you can probably relate to this. The, the Walgreens or the the drugstores there have a terrible selection of drugstore makeup. I know Dwayne Reed slash Walgreens is trying to like amp up their entire makeup selection by adding Girlactic and um, they have like Cargo and Vincent Longo and they have kind of like these bigger brands um, and which is very very exciting but if you're just looking for like the latest Wet n Wild or the latest Jordana or any of those things you're not going to find it. It's all just just the regular sort of humdrum standard stuff that they have to their line and none of it is ever, they don't really ever have any of the new stuff. Maybe the, the new Revlon or maybe the new L'Oreal, but none of the sort of brands that I think are a little bit more exciting like Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, whatever. I'm rambling. So my local Walgreens here in Vegas actually has a pretty decent selection of Wet n Wild. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I did like a full face, get ready with me, or first impressions of Wet n Wild. So I went kind of nuts and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, including the new Photo Focus Foundation. And I got the color Soft Beige. I think this is a pretty good match for me. We shall see. So I'm excited to try this. Um, what I'm not a fan of is that it has like a weird, um, like spatula thing I, I don't I don't understand that I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to I don't know if I'm supposed to spread that right onto my face which seems kind of weird to kind of stick it back in the bottle and back on my face but I don't know um, so I'm excited to try that so I also picked up the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder in the color warm light this is what it looks like in the pan and when I swatch it, it on my on my hand, it literally just sort of disappears. So I'm hoping this will be a really good um, setting powder for like under the eye for my concealer and maybe all over the face. So we'll see. I'm excited to try that as well. I also picked up the new Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. This is in the shade Only a Matter of Prime. And I don't know... I can't recall now if there were other shades because this one has a little bit of like a like a, a nude peachy tint to it. So it comes in a tube and twist off cap with like a pointy little applicator and that is what the primer looks like. I don't know if you can see that but it's basically like um, like the this color of my skin and when I work it in it does sort of set in a in a tacky kind of way so I'm excited for that because I like um, I like eyeshadow primers that are a little bit tacky not too tacky but a little bit tacky to kind of help the eyeshadow stay put so this will be fun to try I also decided to pick up a bronzer again because I wanted to do like a like a full face thing but this is not new this is their color icon bronzer with an SPF of 15 which is exciting I picked up the shade ticket to Brazil again it has such a silky feel but I think the shade may be a little bit too light for me it's uh, a, it'll it'll definitely be a very subtle bronzer so we'll give it a shot I do like the texture of the two powder products so far, really nice. 
And then I also got two of the um, Color Icon Lushes. This is the color Pearlescent Pink. It's um, a really pretty, it has just a, a hint of shimmer, but that's pearlescent pink. I also picked up apricot in the middle, and this is that. It has just a little bit of shimmer as well, and it's a much more peachy color than the pearlescent pink, well, as the names would suggest. So I'm excited to try those. I also picked up this uh, highlighter. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. It was labeled as new, but I don't think it's actually new. I think um, this came out la late last year sometime, like last fall maybe. Um, unless I'm confusing it with something else. But anyway, I don't, I don't think this is brand spanking new unless they said it was a limited edition and, and now it's part of the permanent line. But this is the Precious Petals colorway and it's so pretty. It has a peachy gold tone to it, and it has sort of like a wet look to it, which I happen to be a huge fan of in highlighters. I like when they're really wet looking. I don't like when they're too glittery or, or sparkly. That is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I also picked up two of the new Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liners. I got the colors Fair to Comment and Gone Burgundy, and I already took them out of the box, but here they are. I love the packaging on these. I love that the, the cap is the color of the lip liner. I love that it snaps on and off. I love that it's like a twist up and down. So this is Bare to Comment, and they feel really soft. That's Bare to Comment, and... This is Gone Burgundy, sort of like a wine, a subtle wine color, almost like a dark mauve. So that is, what did I say, Gone Burgundy. And I also got the Velvet Matte Lip Color in Hickory Smoked. It's like a crayon like this, and the, uh, the finish of the barrel kind of feels like the NARS. It kind of has like a rubberized feel to it, so that's pretty cool, and it has the colored um, ends again to, to simulate what color is inside, which is really handy. So this is um, Hickory Smoked. That's it at the bottom there. Really pretty, nice everyday sort of nudie pink color. And what else did I get? Oh, I also picked up um, the setting spray, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. And I actually just tried, when I filmed it the first time, I actually tried it on and um, it kind of feels, it feels a little sticky on the face. So it probably does a good job keeping your makeup on, but it doesn't feel that comfortable. Like I really like my, um, the uh, Scandinavia finishing spray. I feel like it really locks down your makeup, but it doesn't have... It doesn't have like a crunchy hairspray feeling. And this has a little bit of a crunchy hairspray feeling. So that's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And I picked up four of their brushes. I've heard good things about them. They're, you know, they're like irresistible. They're white with pink tips. And they're really inexpensive. So I could not pass that up. I got a powder brush, um, the flat top like kabuki brush, a small eyeshadow brush. Is that focusing? And they call this a smoky liner brush. I'm going to take this one out because this one is interesting. A smoky liner brush, but I feel like it's like a concealer brush basically. Here is the smoky liner brush. But you see how flat that is? It's probably a little bit big to be a concealer brush, or the bristles are a little bit too long, but. Anyway, it was an interesting shape, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Oh, I also want to mention, I stopped into Walmart and I got some sponges. So I got the EcoTools um, Perfecting Blender Duo. It has like a big, a big sponge and a mini sponge. So heard good things about that. I think um, Tati, is it Tati? I think Tati really likes these. So I really wanted to give these a shot. And I also picked up the L'Oreal Blend Artist infallible contour blender such a long name um, it comes in this 
box and this is what it looks like. So I tried this sponge once already. I don't know, I'm really on the fence about it. I think maybe it'll work better with powder products, surprisingly, or, cr or cream, maybe not liquid, um, because this sponge is so um, dense and plasticky that I feel like all it's doing is spreading my foundation around. I don't feel like it's actually applying it. So like with the Beauty Blender, it soaks up the product, which is not always a great thing, but it soaks up the product so that when you pounce it, it's sort of dispensing it too. While this, I feel like is just moving it around on your skin. It's not actually soaking up that much. So I don't know, maybe I just need to get used to it. We'll see. I don't know. Has anyone out there tried this? Let me know what you think, if you have, because this is, this is like an enigma to me. I don't know how I feel about this. So those are all my um, drugstore purchases. Um, I got a few things at Nordstrom when I was in Chicago. I it's, it's like I can't walk by the Tom Ford counter without getting something. It's like a curse. It, the Tom Ford counter is like my kryptonite, basically. So I ended up getting the um, Ultra Shine lip gloss in Naked. Here's the box that it comes in. And here is the Naked lip gloss. It's so pretty. It has like the most subtle sheen and I like it as either a topper or really by itself is very, very pretty. Hopefully you guys can see this because it is very, I mean, it is very, very nude. But that is the lip gloss. And again, it has just a hint of like gold shimmer in there. So it's very pretty. And then I also got another blush. I'm really liking his new um, blush formula. So I had already picked up Inhibition and Gratuitous. So Inhibition is like a peachy color and Gratuitous is like a more of like a dark, cooler, like berry tone blush. So I picked up Ravish, which is sort of um, in between the two. It's not quite as cool as Gratuitous, but it's not quite as like light and warm as Inhibition. Here's a swatch of Ravish. These new blushes are super powdery. There's quite a bit of kick up, but I like the effect that it gives your cheeks. I actually have inhibition on um, today. And you definitely have to be careful. If you generally have a heavy hand with blush, you may wanna, you may wanna take it easy with these Tom Ford blushes. So I also picked up the new um, Bronze Goddess Highlighter Heat Wave. I got this off of the Macy's.com site. I had a bunch of like points there or whatever. So anyway, I wanted to use them up and so I decided on getting this. This is the package. It's really pretty. It kind of looks like a flying saucer. It's round. Um, and it has a magnetic closure. And a nice mirror on the inside. And here is what the pan looks like. I've already dipped in a little bit there. But you get the gist. It has like rays coming out from the center. It's a very beautiful sort of art deco inspired um, feeling and I do want to mention it does come with like a glittery kind of overspray which frightened me a little bit because when I first dipped my finger in and swatched it I was like oh this is really glittery but once that goes away the resulting highlighter is very very pretty so it's another one of those highlighters with like a wet finish I really love it and it's very gold <laughs> very very gold so it'll look really great in the summertime when you're a little bit more tanned I'm excited I'm excited to try that and then I did a little bit of Sephora online shopping um, I got the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration glow kit it is so good it's so much fun so many of my highlighters are very, they're very similar. They're gold, they're peachy gold, you know, they have a little champagne gold and, and this and that. This one is completely different. This has like pinky, peachy, um, this white one has like a blue shift to it. They're just really, really fun, you know, which I think makeup should be. It should be a lot of fun. So let me swatch these for you. So I'm going to do the top row, Kitty Cat, Forever Young, and Daydream. So it's Daydream. Forever Young and then Kitty Cat. It's 
So Kitty Cat is like the pinky one, and Daydream is like the the orangey toned one. So that is the top row. Now I'm going to do the bottom row, which is Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. So it's uh, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, 143. So pretty. The formula seems to be closer to the original glow kits that came out and less like that six pan glow kit um, that was a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say chunky because that's that's such a harsh word, but it was like it was a, like a little gritty. It was grittier. It wasn't quite as smooth and the finish wasn't quite as foiled. But anyway, so this this glow kit, I think, is definitely more reminiscent of the original glow kits. It has like a really smooth um, feel to them. They're soft without being too overly powdery, and the finish is just really stunning. They're just really, really satiny. I'm just going to hold it up again, make you stare at them a little bit longer. And then I also picked up the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, which is um, the coconut gel highlighter. comes in typical Marc Jacobs box. And here is the bottle. Um, same exact uh, size and shape as the coconut primer. And has a pump just like the primer. And I believe this is part of like a whole um, summer line that he launched, which has like, uh, like a coconut dew mist. And I think there's also a brush possibly and like a big bronzer. I'm excited to try those other things out, but I got this liquid highlighter and it is so beautiful. It is so much fun. I'm not gonna rub it all the way in so you can see what the color looks like. But this has a really lovely kind of like pearl, um, like crushed pearl finish to it. It's really stunning. I think it'd be fun to like add to foundation or you know, just sort of lay down on top of your cheekbones before you put down maybe a powder highlight if you really want to give it some pizzazz. But there is the highlighter. I don't know if you can see how, there it is, how glowy it is. It is so nice and it smells like the beach. It smells like, it smells like suntan lotion. And then last but not least, I picked up the new um, cloud paints from Glossier. I got two out of the four colors that they have available. Comes in this cute Glossier pink air bubble pouch. And I got colors Dusk and Puff. I don't know if you can see that. Let me take that out of the box. And they are like a, like a moussey... Um, cream product that you can use on your cheek or your lips. So here is Dusk, and I love these tubes because they remind me of like acrylic paints. They're, um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit messy. It kind of comes out of the tube whether you want it to or not. So this is Dusk. And obviously you can work it in and, uh, it gives the cheek like a really nice flush. And then this one is Puff, which is like the more pink, cool toned. There's that color. So I thought that would be really pretty for spring. If you just want to give your cheeks sort of that healthy, youthful flush, I thought that'd be really nice. So that's Dusk on top and Puff on the bottom. So my camera just stopped recording again, so I'm going to stop this haul right here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, please leave me any comments below. Stay tuned for like a full face, wet and wild, get ready with me, first impressions uh, video. I'm excited to do that because I really want to try out that foundation. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below or with this floating head here. And I'll see you in my next video.